I met your children. What did you tell them? Well, I have. I have successfully used a EEPROM emulator. That's a device with some RAM in it and a serial port that basically takes the place of an EEPROM in a circuit that you can overwrite. And I've loaded my own samples into the Casio SK-1. There have been a lot of people uh, destroying these things by shorting bus traces together to make ridiculous sounds. And I think this is actually quite a useful modification. Here, here is where the regular uh, ROM goes and I've got the header for this device plugged in there. And it's loaded up with my own ROM file with some samples that I put together. upside down keyboard playing there. That's uh, Mellotron strings. Put this on a tripod. This is the inside and the keyboard is upside down at the moment. <laughs> you already heard that one. This I believe is the bad saxophone sample. Here's a different piano. I like that one. Hello, 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 hello. What I also found out was that the single cycle waveforms, uh, as in the organs, are not generated programmatically as I thought, but they're actually stored as several cycles before the big samples in the ROM. So it should be possible to replace those with square waves or something. I think the plug came out.